It's been less than a month since the release of the 1-6 scale Part 3 Marty figure, and now we have his counterpart, the Old West version of Dr. Emmett L. Brown. Join me, Future Boy, as we unbox this latest collectible. Let's go back to the figures. Released in August 2023, this is the third official iteration of Doc Brown, Hot Toys having now created a one-sixth version from each film. Obviously, the artwork showcases Christopher Lloyd as the Doc in his Western attire. Inside, we have a cool slipcase and artwork from the film, very similar to the recent Marty insert, Maybe they got a little lazy, but okay, it's what's underneath that counts. And beneath it, of course, is the figure and all the goodies to go with it. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat is that unlike the matching faces of the part one and two figures, this doc has gone through a whole natural overhaul. I went to a rejuvenation clinic. Thankfully, Hot Toys didn't get lazy this time and just duplicate the face mold. This new face and expression are entirely different than what has come before and the likeness is spot on. As with most Hot Toys figures, this one includes some excellent accessories, not the least of which is the stand that features some nice artwork by Drew Struzan. It actually matches the stand that came with the Marty figure, except the subject has vanished. Erased from existence. Much like Marty, Doc's hat is not removable. But that might be for the best because Emmett gets some major hat hair in part three. The jacket is removable for scenes where Doc is a little more casual, like this scene where he explains his time travel plan to Marty. And the perfect accessory to go along with that is the makeshift time machine model, complete with AA battery exhaust vents as with the real prop. Shortly after that scene, Doc has to get ready to meet Clara at the town festival. Of course, the festival. So we can just pop off his head and add the bow tie. And Doc is nothing without a timepiece, so let's loop in this pocket watch while we're at it. And now Doc is ready to woo Miss Clayton. Or maybe not. In order to put Doc in full cowboy mode, we are going to have to add his duster jacket. Look at the inside. It is even lined with a satin type fabric, just as a full size jacket would be. The gun belt is detailed with ammunition, and like Marty's, this tiny gun has many moving parts. Super impressive for something this small. At first glance, this looks like a simple white bandana, but an Uber fan knows that Doc's bandana has a print on it. And not just any print. The face covering is actually Doc's part two shirt that he has recycled to use in 1885. As in the film, you can just barely make out the images of cowboys and trains. Again, I love that Hot Toys included this subtle detail. One detail that I'm surprised they did not include is Clara's lavender floral brooch pin that Doc proudly wears in the second half of the movie. But I suppose it is covered up by his jacket for the most part anyway. And getting back to that, had to pop Doc's head and hands off so we could put the bandana and jacket on. And unfortunately, one of the buttons fell off. So I'm going to have to try to perform microsurgery to re-thread this little guy. But I guess for now, we're going to do the rest of the video without a button. And now that he is fully dressed, we can equip him with the figure's main accessory. Doc's rifle, complete with modifications, including the high-powered scope, that can shoot the fleas off a dog's back at 500 yards. It'll shoot the fleas off a dog's back at 500 yards! Yeah, I just said that. Anyway, let's take some time to appreciate this figure and accessory. And the final accessory is the walkie-talkie with mini extendable antenna a perfect device for calling a friend. Speaking of which, let's reunite our old friends, Doc and Marty. Now these part three counterparts can live side by side in our collection. So what do you think, future boys and girls? Where does this part three Doc Brown sit in your ranking? How does he compare to the other Docs that have been released so far? And the big question is, now that they have covered all three movies, is that it for these 1-6 scale figures? 
Or will we see alternate releases of our heroes like 1955 Doc or Atomic Marty? Only time will tell. Subscribe and stay tuned for updates. Happy collecting, and I'll talk to you in the future.